Hello and welcome everyone. In this video, you are going to learn how to take online appointment for photography business and send confirmation on WhatsApp automatically. So guys, first of all, let me tell you what is happening here. When a new appointment is booked on youcanbook.me appointment page, a confirmation message of that appointment is going to be delivered on the WhatsApp account of the customer who booked the appointment. So guys, youcanbook.me is an appointment managing application in which you can create appointment scheduling pages and connect it with your website, your social media or you can share it with anyone. Now, suppose that you are running a photography business and you are taking the appointments of your shooting from youcanbook.me appointment scheduling pages and you want that when someone book an appointment with you you want to send the confirmation message of that appointment on the whatsapp account of your customer so guys to make this happen you have two ways one is to manually sort out the data of your appointment from youcanbook.me appointment scheduling page and then manually compile the message individually to every new customer that you have. So guys, this process can be very repetitive and time consuming. So we have a better way for you. What if I tell you that as and when a new appointment is received from your youcanbook.me appointment page, a confirmation message of that appointment get delivered on the WhatsApp account of your customer automatically. Yes guys, this can happen. And this can be done by connecting youcanbook.me with WhatsApp. But the issue is there is no direct connection or integration present between youcanbook.me and WhatsApp. So to connect these two applications, I am using a software called as Pably Connect. So guys, Pably Connect is an integration and automation software. And the best part of it is that you will not require any coding skills and programming knowledge to make this connection between youcanbook.me and WhatsApp. So guys, first of all, let me show you a demo on my screen on how this connection and integration between youcanbook.me and WhatsApp is going to work in real time. So guys, this is the dashboard of youcanbook.me account and here I have created this photography booking form. So this is the appointment schedule page I have created to book appointments for my photography business. So from here anyone can select the time and date to book the appointment according to their need. So what I am going to do, uh, this is the WhatsApp account of one of our customer or client. So we will do an booking on the behalf of the customer from this page and we will see if the confirmation of this of that booking appointment will be received on this WhatsApp account or not. All right, so I'm going to my page and I'm going to book the appointment. Let's say 10 a.m. at 15th of September. So it is showing we have selected this time and date. Now it is asking for the details of customer. So I'm going to give it like Rithik email would be then I'll put the phone number And then we'll put the address, number of people and type of shoot. So it is going to be a outdoor shoot. All right. Now I'm confirming my booking. So as you can see, the book is, is confirmed and it is showing thanks Ritik. You will receive a notification confirming the meeting details on WhatsApp. So let's see. In the WhatsApp, it we have received something. You can see this type of message is received. Dear Ritik, you have an appointment scheduled with us for photography. We look forward to see you on this date and time. And this date and time and the location. So I have put just D22 only. So it is showing only this. 
so this is how it is going to work in real time and uh, now you guys are wondering how i managed to bring this message here on whatsapp without any manual compilation of the message just by booking the appointment here on my you can book.me page so guys let me tell you the quickest and easiest steps by which you can also make this integration or connection between you can book.me to whatsapp these are the three easy steps by which you can also make this integration or connection between you can book.me page to whatsapp so step one is connect you can book.me page to pebbly connect with the help of webhook url so in step one we are going to open pebbly connect and connect our you can book.me appointment page to pebbly connect step two collect the data from you can book.me in pebbly connect so in second step we'll bring our data from our appointment page from you can book.me to pebbly connect and step three is send the same data to vati for sending messages on whatsapp so in the third and the last step we'll bring the collected data from pebbly connect to whatsapp through an app another application called as vati so i'll tell you what vati is later on in this video first of all let us jump on our step one and open pebbly connect so guys, first of all, you have to open your browser and type P-A-B-B-L-Y that is pabbly.com. So this is the landing page of Pabbly. From here, come to this products and after that, click on this connect. After this, you can set up your free account in just two minutes by clicking this sign up free button, which I have already done. So I'm clicking on sign in directly. So after signing in, you will see this all app section of Pabbly Connect. From here, you have to come to this connect panel and click on access now. All right. Now, this is the dashboard of Pabbly Connect. From here, you have to start working. And to start working here, you have to create this workflow and click on this create workflow button. So from here, you can give a name to your workflow. So you can give any name. For now, I am giving the name as you can book dot me to WhatsApp messages. All right, so I'm clicking on create and my workflow is created. And as your workflow get created, you will find these two things first, the trigger and the action. So Pabbly Connect work on these two things. The trigger says when this happens, action says Pabbly Connect do this. As in our use case, the trigger would be a new appointment on you can book.me page and the trigger would be a new confirmation message on WhatsApp. All right, so first of all, click here on this trigger option and from the choose app, choose your application as you, you can book dot me. This is it. After this, it will ask for the trigger event. So in the trigger event, select the event as new booking like this. All right. After this, it will generate this URL. So this URL is called webhook URL. So with this URL, we are going to connect our you can book.me page to Pabbly Connect. So you just have to copy this URL from here. And now you have to go to your you can book.me dashboard. From here, go to this edit settings of your page. Click here. And after this, you have to go to this notifications option. And from here, you have to click on this actions. And in the actions, you will find this option first after new booking made. So click here. After this, it, uh, uh, you will see this plus button here. When you click on this plus button, you will find this webhook option. All right. So click on this webhook option. And here you have to paste the URL that you have copied in this URL option. All right. So this is the URL that we have copied. You have to paste it here like this. 
all right and then in the http method select the method as post all right after this it will start showing this payload so you have to pass these parameters that you have in your form from these payloads all right so let me show you uh, uh, the form also so this is the form we have and we have these parameters all right so you can book more book dot me give you some parameters by default so these are the parameters it have set by default the start date start date the local time and date the time zone the first name and the email so these are the by default things you can book dot me provide and the extra things are here so these are the extra things we have in our form the address the number of people in session and the type of shoot so these parameters we have to provide uh, we have to set here so you can just copy this format like this select this format and copy it all and paste it here only so this is how you can set the parameters that you have in your form as you can see I have put the extra parameter the number of people in session and put it here q2 so let me show you in the form we have this number of people in session and here in the shorthand code it is written q2 all right so like this i have put this in a double uh, apostrophe comma and put here q2 just like this i have uh, given type of shoot and give here the parameter as q5 so let me show you what we have uh, in the parameter All right, so you can see the type of shoot here and when I click here the shorthand code is Q5 so I have put the type of shoot Q5 just like this I have put the phone number and so this is how you can pass these parameters from here and just click on the save changes and we, uh, we are set we have set the parameters now come back to public connect again and now it is showing waiting for webhook response this means it is time for us to execute our second step so let me show you what is our second so our second step is collect the data from you can book dot me in public connect so now we are going to book another appointment and will bring the data from our appointment page to public connect let's do this so as it is showing waiting for the response so we have to uh, put another form and uh, book another appointment so i am opening my form So this is here is the appointment form we have so I'm just clicking on this share and embed and copy the booking link so you can also share the booking link on WordPress your social media and embed it with your website also so I'm opening this here so this is our appointment scheduling page from here I'm booking another appointment at 10th of Friday at 11 p.m. all right so it's September 10 now I'm giving the name as Rashi the email of Rashi will be this the phone number will be this the address is G22 Opal the number of people in this session will be let's say it is it will be two and the type of shoot would, would be outdoor shoot all right so i am now confirming the booking all right so the booking is confirmed for rashi so let's see in public connect it has received the data of our new booking like this all right so we have uh, gathered the data here in public connect from our you can book dot me page and it is showing like this it has the name the email the phone number the address the type of shoot all the things that we have filled in the appointment details all right so now it is time for our third step let me show you what is our third step so guys the th step three is send the same data to vati for sending messages on whatsapp so 
now we are going to send the collected data from pebbly connect to whatsapp as a new confirmation message and to do that we are using another application that is vati so now i'm going to tell you what vati is and how you can also use it so let's do this so now in the pebbly connect you have to click on this action button and choose your application as w a t i that is vati so guys let me tell you what vati is actually whatsapp does not provide the chat api access directly to everyone all right or you can say whatsapp provide very limited access to its chat api only to few big companies so vati is an application who have the access of whatsapp chat api so by using vati we are going to have the access of whatsapp chat api and we are going to send the messages all right so after selecting your application as vati choose the action event as send template message all right so after this this connect button will appear click on this connect button and from here select this add new connection and after this it will ask for these two things the api endpoint and the access token so we have to paste these two things here to connect with vati so where you can find these two things you have to go on vati dashboard and click on api docs to find these two things all right so let me uh, bring you to my vati account so this is my vati account you can also make your own vati account and if you want to know how to make it you can check our description box here we have pasted the link of the video in which we have explained how to set up your vati account all right so you can check that for now i am clicking on this icon besides this broadcast option i am clicking on this icon here you will find this api docs option so when you click here you will find this access token and the endpoint so just copy these things from here go to pebbly connect paste it like this and go to vati and another time and copy this access token also and paste it here all right after pasting this api endpoint and access token click on this save button and now it is showing connected that means we are connected with vati account after this these fields will open up and in the first field it is asking for the whatsapp number of the one whom you want to send the message to all right so when you click here you will find this option you can book dot me new booking option so when i click this you will find the data that we have already captured here in the second step so this is the data that we have captured already so when you click here on this option you will find the same data so you just have to map the whatsapp number from here only so just click the whatsapp number of your customer and it is mapped all right after this it will ask for the template so now you are wondering what templates are actually let me show you in my vati account uh here are the template messages all right so to send messages to whatsapp you have to create these templates here in vati account first all right so you can create the template like these i can show you one also so this is the template so templates are the predefined message structures that you want to send to your customers or your clients all right so here you have to define the name of the template the category of your template you, you can select the language of your template and here you can make the body of your template so this is the body of our template all right so for this task we are using the template this template the appointment schedule template so let me show you our template so this is the template we are going to use for this task so you can see this is the template and here you can see we have something in double curly braces the name in double curly braces the meeting name in double curly braces the date time and the location so why we have put these things in double brace curly braces because these are the things which are going to change with each and every new message all right because the customer's name is going to change the meeting name is going to change the location and date time is going to change with every message so these are the things that will change dynamically with each and every message so that's why we have put these things in double curly braces and from pebbly connect we are going to 
map these things or set these parameters by here uh, from here first of all we have to choose the template what what is the template that we are using for this task so we are using this appointment schedule template so go to Pabli connect and select the template first so this is the template we are using after this and let me tell you another thing from here you can create the template by clicking this new template message you can enter the name of your template select the category enter the language and uh, create the body of your template after this you can create uh, click on save save as draft and after saving your template you have to submit this template by clicking this button submit template button after this your template will be get reviewed by whatsapp's parent company that is facebook and Facebook will approve your template in 30 minutes to two days. All right. So typically it take only few hours to get to get the template approved. So here we have these approved templates already. So to send the message, you have to create a template, get it approved from WhatsApp's uh, parent company, Facebook by submitting from here. And you can also start using these templates. All right. Now I'm going to Pabli connect again and I have selected my template that is appointment schedule in the broadcast name. You can uh, enter manually the name of broadcast. You can enter the company name. I'm entering uh, uh, Sigma photography. All right. So after selecting the broadcast name, it is asking for the custom parameters. So what are these custom parameters? This is nothing but the things which are variable in our template. All right. So these are the custom parameters or custom variables that you have to map in Pabli Connect. All right. So you can map and enter the value of these parameters in this format. So you just have to copy this format from here like this and let us count how many variables we have in our message body so we have one two three four all right so we have four variables so just copy this format four times here one then put a comma and paste it again then put a comma and paste it again and then put a comma again and paste it again so we have pasted it four times so here you have to enter the name and the value of the param parameters. So the name of our first variable is, let's see. So the name of our first variable is name only. So just copy this from here and put it here in the name option. All right. Now you have to enter the value of the name. So you can just map the name of your customer from this option only. So this is the name. After this, our sec the name of second variable is let's see. So the name of second variable is this meeting name. So copy this from here and paste it here and then put the value of your meeting name. So you can map the meeting name as the as the type of shoot all right from so the our meeting objective is the outdoor shoot so just map this outdoor shoot and let's see what is our another variable so another variable is the date time copy this paste it here and enter the value of this by mapping the data from here. So the date is this and you can also map the time if you want. So guys, we are done mapping the values of our parameters, the variable custom parameters that we have in our message template. So you can also make this easily or you can if you have any problem, you can contact our support team at admin at the And then I'm going to 
click on this save and send test request so as i click this our data from here will be sent as a new message to the whatsapp account of our customer so i'm going to click here so it is showing this type of details here you can see all right so let us check in the whatsapp account if we have received something so guys you can see we have received this message in our whatsapp account so it is showing dear rashi you have an appointment scheduled with us for outdoor shoot we'll look forward to see you on this date and time and this address all right so this is how it is going to work in real time all right so we are done completing our workflow and let me show you a quick recap what we have done here so in the first trigger option we selected our page as you can book dot me then we in the trigger event we selected new booking after this we have copied the webhook url and pasted here here in our you can book dot me dashboard and connected our you can book dot me page to public connect first then we will capture the data after this in the second step we'll select the application as varti select the action event map the whatsapp number selected the template give the broadcast name and map the custom variables or parameters that we have in our message templates all right so now just click on save so guys this is it for today's video if you want any other type of integration you can contact us at admin at the rate pebbly dot com. You can ask your queries and discuss it from this forum, and check the pricing of this software from this link. And guys, as we did today, you can make many different type of integration using many different softwares by Pebbly Connect and automate your business with Pebbly Connect. So guys, do not forget to like, share, and subscribe to our channel. And thank you so much for watching this video.